yeah, keep it, keep it moving. Hey guys, so today is the first episode of my channel series. Basically, I wanted to create something that was fun on Mondays because honestly, Mondays suck for me. They really do. It is so far from the weekend and just so much happens on Mondays. I feel like if anything's gonna go wrong, it's going to be on a Monday. Like, you get in your car and you forgot, oh hey, I don't have gas. And just kind of like escape from Monday for the day and just kind of like, you know, talk about a girly topic. Like today we're talking about hair care and then next week we're gonna talk about something else and just kind of like escape all the negativeness of the world. If that's a word, negativeness. Just basically you get what I'm saying. I wanted to start with a hair care video because we are about to reach the colder months and every time I see my hair stylist, she's like, Sam, your hair grows like a freaking weed. What is it that you're doing when I'm not seeing you? So let's talk about it. Let's go. Okay, so the first way you can get your hair back to being nice and healthy is minimizing the heating products that you use. For some of us, it's really hard to just put down the flat iron and the curling iron because it's like we're in a relationship with it. We're just like, I can't, I have to use it always. It's really hard for me to say, but like, I just have to learn to love like me first, like on my own, like without you. It's kind of like a no done thing, but let me just break it down for you. If I know I'm going out on Saturday and I'm doing big waves, on Monday to Friday, I'm not touching my hair with a curling iron, a straightener, or my hair dryer. I really let my hair breathe right up until Saturday. It has helped my hair so much because it just kind of really nourishes it and brings it back to life. And then when Saturday comes, it curls so nice, so big, so perfect. What I like to do is I'll just like spray, which one is this? I have a few of these. I like this one. I don't think you need to like jump off your couch right now and buy this exact one, but you'll get, I don't know, they're all kind of similar. This is the Beyond the Zone Beach Head Surf Shake. Whatever that means. In your hair, when your hair is wet, you just kind of scrunch it. That's what I do. But, so what I do is to kind of like break it up because I feel like if it was all down, it would just be like, blah. What I do is I'll just like, you know, braid the side and bam, that's a hairstyle. Tip number two is actually something that like literally blew my mind. I was just like, whoa, I never thought of that. When your hair is wet, when you just get out of the shower, so say you wash your hair, now it's time to get out of the shower, using a hair dryer then is the worst thing you can do. Even brushing it then is the worst thing you can do. Basically when your hair is super wet, like right when you get out of the shower, not towel dried or anything like that, your hair is the most delicate then. That's when you can actually damage your hair by you know, going in with a brush and really just brushing it. I didn't have to be that, that dramatic. I don't know what I was doing. What you want to do is you want to wait for your hair to dry a little bit. So towel drying or just kind of just going to sleep and waking up the next morning and then going in with a blow dryer, that's okay. Um, you'll notice if you go get your hair done professionally by a hairstylist, when they start blowing at your hair, they always kind of just take it and they put it on a low speed, the hair dryer, and just start running through your hair like that. If you notice them doing that, it's because they don't want to start damaging your hair right away. As a general rule, you really don't want to just start brushing your hair like crazy as soon as it's wet, just because then it's so fragile and delicate. You just kind of want to let it dry a little bit and then go in with your heating tools and use a heating spray. Um, I have two that I like. Paul Mitchell makes great thermal sprays. Um, he has a few of them, so it's just one of them. This is called Hot Seal. And then I also like the Beyond, <laughs> Beyond the Zone Smooth Criminal. Um, I like this one because it smells really good. That has really helped my hair be nice and healthy and grow is moisturize. My hair tends to be very dry. It's very much like my skin. My skin is very dry, so is my hair. So what I like to do is this guy. Oh my God, I love this guy. I don't even know what it's called. I always call it my blue thing. It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. Love this. I love this so much. Every time I've tried like cheating on this product and trying a different leave-in conditioner, I've always ended up going back to this one. I have really knotty hair because my hair is naturally curly, wavy type thing. My hair is do a bunch of the pop, 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 pop. And honestly, my hair is so easy to get through. I can honestly get through it with my fingers if I wanted to. The second product that I love to use, and I have a bigger one. I would, if you are gonna get this one, get the bigger one because this one goes by so fast. This is just my little one that I keep in my um, vanity. But this is the Moroccan hair oil. I love this stuff. You'll see me use this in all of my videos. Um, I use this before I use a heating tool. I use this when I get out of the shower. I just, I love this stuff. Um, I've tried a few other ones. Eh, that's kind of what 
I think about them. Um, I love it, but it really does make a huge difference in your hair. I love it. Um, I would definitely recommend trying this stuff. It's amazing. In case this is like confusing, this one's a uh, leave-in conditioner and this one's a hair oil. So this is going to make your hair kind of oily and so that's why you only want to use a little bit and then this one you can only use when your hair is wet so yeah episode one i'm already in my pajamas <laughs> i hope you enjoy this and let me know what you want to see next in sam's must-haves so bye guys on our way to location mm -hmm. <laughs> no this isn't because i bought the new me titan 3 it has nothing to do with that <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Like, we're going back and forth and back and forth. Then back and forth.